Hi, I'm Jody Levine. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and fun necklace using our Martha Stewart Crafts line of jewelry supplies. The first thing that you're going to do is using our two-part air dry epoxy clay, mold it into um, a flower shape. Now I'm using these silicon molds. I love floral design, so I picked some floral shapes. And I use some of our pre-made cabochons, which makes it really quick. A little piece of linen or felt, some ribbon, and some glue. The first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil and rub it on my hands. That's going to keep the clay from sticking. And it's a two-part epoxy clay. So I'll take a little pea-sized shape piece of the clay and I'm going to roll it into a ball. And then I'll take the same size ball of the activator. And now once I determine that I have the same size, I'm going to start to mix them together. Once it's mixed together, you have about a half hour to work with it, so you want to use it right away. Okay, now I'm ready to place it in the mold, and I'll press it in using my finger at first. And then I like to use this stylus tool to help get it into the tight crevices and just pound it down to make sure it's going to pick up all that nice detail. Once I have it full and even, I'm going to take a drop more olive oil on my finger, not too much and I'm going to use that to rub the back and then that's going to make it nice and smooth. After I fill the last few flowers, I'll set that aside and let it dry for 24 hours. Look how glossy that is. It looks really pretty. And this smaller one looks good. If you need to, you can take a file and file off the edges to get them really perfect. So now the next step is I took a piece of scrap paper and cut out a template for the bib just to make sure I had generally the right size. And now I'm going to start to arrange the flowers. And I'm using the ones that I made with the epoxy clay. In addition to the flowers that I made, I used some of our pre-made flowers. Because I love the dimension and the colors that they come in. So I'm going to mix those guys in as well. It helps to first kind of put the big guys in and then you can just fill it out with the smaller flowers. Once I have it arranged the way I like, I'm going to put my hand over it and pull the template out. And don't worry if things shift around, because you can always rearrange them. But the template gave me an idea of what the size was going to be. Now I am ready to use our jewelry glue to glue these guys into place. You don't need that much. It's a really strong glue. It's a nice, thick glue, so it doesn't seep right through the fabric and I let it dry for about an hour. Now I'm going to trim out my little bib for the necklace. You could cut it a little bit roughly at first and then go in and clean it up. And then you may want to wait a day till it really cures and is really strong. So I'll take two pieces of ribbon and make sure that they're at least 14 inches long. And then I'm just going to glue them to the back of my floral piece. Press it gently and then do the same thing with your other piece of ribbon. I put the ribbon about five inches apart. That's a nice width. I would let it dry for at least an hour before trying it on and holding it by the ribbon. I think it turned out really nicely and you could see how quick it was and you don't have to have any jewelry expertise to make something like this. We've had so much fun in the office playing with the new line of Martha Stewart Crafts jewelry supplies. I hope you'll have fun too and we can't wait to see what you've come up with.